Why are 1,800 people from 12 different countries and thousands more online talking about othering and belonging for three days? Because this is exactly the question that humanity is reckoning with right now. Are we gonna build a future where all belong and no one is othered, no one is outside the circle of human concern? Or are we gonna continue with these stories of, of breaking into smaller and smaller groups of we? This week we will be exploring the impact of the frame of belonging without othering and how this is a way that we might come together and define the world anew in a way in which we all belong and all our needs are met, including the needs of the planet. As always, I mean, going back to the first conference, you know, just is incredibly stimulating. Love John Powell, as everyone does. Love the, the overall othering and belonging simple frame just have been very useful and helpful and thoughtful to me over the years, both when I was working and even now when I'm retired. The great <laughs> change that's come from having been to a couple of these, the growth of the integration of the arts. More music, more movement, more art on display is really special about othering and belonging. I go to a variety of other interesting conferences around the world and this does things that nobody else does at that level with the arts. So this is my first time at the OBI conference in person and I'm really excited to be here. There's so much helpful, meaningful information, but beyond that, the connections I've been able to make with other attendees are amazing, just worldwide, from places I never even imagined, hearing stories that I, I, I'm just learning so much and I can't wait to share the stories when I get back home. What brought me to the conference was the opportunity to speak with my co-panelists and to participate in community and in solidarity, which I really felt strongly, uh, not just from our panel, but from the audience, which was so warm and receptive and which echoed and affirmed so many of the things that we had to say. I think othering and belonging are crucial in this moment for me personally as a Palestinian and a daughter of Palestinian refugees to think about how colonized people, and in this moment people under the force of genocide, othering is a technology, it's a structure, it's a mechanism of dispossession. At the same time that we grieve and we fight and we mourn and we stand up for being on the right side of history, we shape new ways of belonging. I think the part that has been so beautiful, one is the fact that I've already gained two new friends uh, because I know we gonna be together after this. And I think that's the question that was asked earlier about like the we, like what does that look like? And I think I explained in my group, I've struggled with we because I've said, you know, as a black queer woman, oftentimes my voice is not accepted. I'm not accepted in spaces. However, in this space, like I'm feeling seen, I'm you know feeling very cared for and nurtured and loved. So anyways, I'm getting more and more into the we and understanding how big and broad that can be. It, it seems so obvious, but I guess we sometimes do things that aren't so obvious and so we have to sort of get back to what is obvious and intuitive uh, and natural and human and I think belonging is part of that. I think it's really unlike any other gathering that I can think of because it's such a soulful space. I also just particularly appreciate that we have a frame in othering and belonging, a kind of a container that situates us and gives us a frame of reference to understand what brought us to the coming apart that is our world right now, but also points us towards what could be a possible coming together in belonging. I love this possibility to learn. Yeah. And I feel like, okay, I need, also I need to journal, I need to write about yeah. it. Yeah. And then to come back to, to this and to reflect and then, to, yeah. I don't know, this conversation is ongoing. I love it. That's I right. just love it. That's yeah. right. And so we yeah. are here. We and we belong. We belong. I can't shake it out. <laughs> do you know we ain't gonna stop? No, yeah. let me quit. You know, I've been coming to the Othering and Belonging Conference for several years now, and I will, I'll say you all knocked it out of the park this year. It's beautiful, thoughtful, intentional, from speaker lists to the curated spaces, to the conversations, to the plurality of topics, and this is what it looks like to belong. It's complex, it's colorful, it's beautiful. And the last thing I'll say about belonging and, and bridging is that it's hard. And like all good things that are worth fighting for, you keep fighting for them.
May you be blessed. May you be held. May the light that shines within you turn bright all to see.